All right, folks, shalom. We're back. <laughs> it was about 71 of you today caught a video that made it had horrible, horrible audio. Uh, by the way, I'm in Los Angeles uh, with some engagements going on out here, folks, and I brought a bad mic with me. So I tried to do a video today, and the audio was really bad. So I'm doing it over. And by the way, if you donated to this ministry this past week, you just helped me get this mic, which was a professional one, by the way. I finally did it. Folks, there it is. And I hope this improves the quality of this channel. And also, there will be an addition of an iMac desktop as well. Um, that someone's provided. So, uh, thank you Hua, for that. Uh, in that video that I did, and I was going to do a um, year in review, and I decided against that, folks. So we're, we're going to talk about something that I've been wanting to to address for a while, and here we've just gone into the new. Uh, uh, hold on just a second. The new Gregorian um, New Year, and. There's lots and lots of questions we need to, we need to address. And, and, and one thing I want to cover is the prediction thing with uh, people in the codes. Because there, there's some out there, folks, that are giving you things that are... Uh, uh, this is not an absolute. Let's just be really clear. This is not for prediction. This is not for an absolute. This is a science of probability. There's an X factor involved in this, and that is choice. Um you know when it comes to things like who who is the antichrist or who who will be an assassin or anything like that anything that's predictive uh you can look for historical fact all day long and find it there with great detail this particular table is from rabbi glazerson of course this is him here and uh we're going to talk about him and rick schultz at, at the same time i want to address something about pen light uh, as well, if you don't know who Penlight is, that is Rick Shaw and his company produced the Watchers for Nephilim, uh, L.A. Marzulli. But so, Rick, I hope you're watching. And and I've met you a couple of times, but uh, when he found out, folks, that I search the Bible, and not just the first five books of the Bible, uh, he was not interested in my codes, <laughs> it, which is very strange for someone who is supposed to be a body of Yeshua because he is more you know, apt to follow codes of someone who is into Kabbalah and that is Rabbi Glazerson. I love Rabbi Glazerson like he's a grandfather so I mean, there's no disrespect. The point is Rick you're missing a lot. I think you're using the, the Jewish aspect of this for the marketing and uh, I don't know. <clears throat> You're missing a lot at it. And I want to show you something in this. Because Rabbi Glazerson has been looking for the Messiah. Everybody knows he's been looking for the Messiah. You can see here, uh, several of these up here, and mine and here's are together. And he's cited mine several times, at least 12 tables. The, the Shemitah 5775 table was mine. And he cited that. <clears throat> so we're on the same level as far as capability in finding codes brother but um uh, he's been looking for the, for the messiah of course he's he thinks this is the first advent and we all very very well know it's the second advent and i can prove that in his table uh, the same can, can the same thing can be applied to the third temple that that i put out which was the only table of the third temple and you have to look in the whole bible for it he looks only in the torah and he didn't find it yet he produced a, a table and, and said it was the third temple and uh, i was quickly able to prove that it was the first temple that he was showing same thing happening here this is not the coming the second coming of the messiah even though it has a date of 5776 right here Tavshin and i involve i have a theory that this is here as the beginning 
of the second advent. We're seeing the first and the second advent in one place. Uh, there is also in here, and this is his table, um, angels and Elijah that comes together in importation. There's on the other side. There's also Shuba. Oh, yeah, repentance is in this. There's something he didn't show you. And it's here. It was right there when he looked at it. All he had to do was type it in. Uh, and it's in this line right here. Very significant line. And I want to show you the very same table, folks. And this is going to bless you. Because your body of the Christ, Yeshua, the Son, you know who he is. It's the very same table right here. You can see Elijah, the angels, and Thompson involved with importation. And then this is Mashiach will... Uh, I think he has it at will arrive will come to vet 5776 I think and, and 576 is on the side it's not a part of the axis turn it says Mashiach will come in to vet well that's December January time so uh, that that's when that is which is where we are now and of course the reason why we're talking about this is several of you messaged me to asking me, could this very well be the, the Antichrist? Because uh, Mashiach isn't, isn't just Yeshua. There are other Mashiach. Mashiach means the, the anointed one. Nebuchadnezzar was a Mashiach. So uh, my brother Chris asked me, is it possible that, that uh, this could you know, have the man there? And I don't think so, again, because of this one verse. And I think this knocks it out of the park right here. So let's go back to uh, the one that uh, I was just showing you here. And this is it. It's right here. Here's the verse. It's right through Elijah's name. And I got it blown up because I want the Glazers to be able to see this very clearly. This is Yahuwah Yaira. He is my provider. Who is he providing? Yeshua. His name right there, Yeshua. But this is really what's so special about it. I was going to take you there. And this is where Avraham was commanded to bring his son from the mountain. And I'm going to start with verse. Let's start with 11. And the angel of Yahuwah called out unto him, out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I, Hanani. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest Elohim. Seest thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And this was his test. And this is what's really awesome about this. And there's a verse right there. You see here what's coming up in verse 14. And I got highlighted right there. And Abraham lifted up his eyes, and behold, and behold, behind the ram caught in the thicket by his horns, and Abraham went took the ram and offered him up for a burning offering in the steed of his son and Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh Jehovah Jireh folks means he will provide he provided a lamb and what he did was he provided a temporary solution to an eternal problem and that was a covering of sin with the blood of animals this was just a covering there was a solution and that came with Yeshua and he came and he died on the cross at the vain, very feast by the way Passover so I want to do something and because this rabbi understands probability he likes probability and short of skip that means closest to the axis term and very small skip so I want to show you something with that in mind. 
We're going to put in Yeshua's name. I got it in there already, but I'm going to put it in there manually. So you can see what comes up when we put Yeshua's name. Not only does this point to Jehovah Yahweh, but his name is also in the very, very same scripture. That's when Abraham offered up his son. So encoded in that very line is the answer. That is the Mashiach, my brother. And I say that with all humility, uh, Robert Glazer. So I do not mean any disrespect. Um, I do want you to be able to see who the Messiah is. And I'm going to change the colors. And you see there. There's too many blue. Yeshua's name. I skip a 10. Uh, there are 10 brothers. And Joseph had uh, two sons. I just, I just re reminded folks of that story. I watched it here recently. Which is when that veil is removed, it's going to be such a day. But I hope this is an example of how the codes are even deeper. Even to the most beloved, most respected and uh, knowledgeable rabbis. There's still things hidden. And I just showed you in from, from his very table where he's showing that the Mashiach will come and Trevet that is Yeshua. It's always been Yeshua. The word testifies to him and I can show you and that's why they don't want to go out of the, the Torah because you got to address Isaiah 53. Yeshua is my name. He can't get around it. So uh, even in this table, which is strictly in the Torah of a skip of 1820, 1820. You can see the width down there. That's it. Um, so, and by the way, folks, I'm in L.A. at the moment. I am on the road. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it up to Northern California because uh, where did my picture go? Uh, 